Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We're on day six here on Lapis Lakeside for Growth Week. I did swap out. I remembered to swap out the team this morning when I woke up. Uh, so we are not going to see the pop up. We're not going to see the sneaky snacking, but we are going to get 93 sleep points because I went to bed very late last night. Uh, we, of course, were streaming Elden Ring with the wife and uh, we stayed up past one o'clock playing Elden Ring. So, uh, yeah, had a lot of fun, but paying the price 6086 sleep points is what we're at now and uh we are also going to pick up for our daily lottery a uh, little bit of uh caffeine because i need that uh no a small ingredient ticket and let's see what else can we do today not much brain is all over the place but we are going to jump into the sleeper oh that is a uh, gardevoir uh-oh well that's a bad sign didn't get a skill trigger but that's okay i did get one when i swapped the team back over so we're still starting off pretty well uh anyway this sleep report uh seven hours 55 minutes of sleep yep sounds about right sounds about right that is a lot of slumbering though that is a lot of slumbering so potentially stuffle candy hopefully we are well we're not in the Ultra 2 range to get the 60% chance of it spawning, but at Ultra 3, I think it was only 50, 45%, so we should still have some pretty decent odds with 52 point, almost 52.6 million. That's not bad. And if one of those three or the four star is the stuffle, we should get a decent amount. Oh, well, nope, it's a Squirtle. Oh yeah, I forgot. I did use the Chikorita incense last night too, for the exact same reason as uh, using the one yesterday. So, uh, there is a Stuffle. Only one, unfortunately. And it looks like it was the one star, I think. Uh, so we've got Chikorita, yep, one star Stuffle, Riolu, Togepi, Swablu, Squirtle, yes, yeah, Squirtle, and another Swablu. Okay. So, one new sleep style. Maybe that's a new Stuffle. Maybe? Uh, nope, that's the old Stuffle. Um... Oh, new war turtle. Okay, I can dig it. Flattened sleep. Feel like I haven't said that phrase in I don't know how long. That one just came out of nowhere. Showing my age right there is what I'm doing. Anyway, that's all of the war turtle sleep styles. All right, anybody hungry? Chikorita's hungry. That's good. That's good. Out of everybody here, Chikorita's probably the one most worth catching, outside of maybe the Stuffle, because the Stuffle could be good too. Uh, Chikorita's hungry. Mm hmm. Got a lot of Pokemon that I've fed already. Oh, duplicates, that's why. Um. Hmm. How do we want to play this? How, in fact, do we want to play this? Let's see. Let's, um... Yeah, let's do the bonus biscuit on Chikorita. Cool. So we're taking the Chikorita home for sure. I'm trying to think in my head how I want to play this. I would like to take this Stuffle home as well. I don't think I ever knew that Stuffle had a tag on its butt, like a paper tag. I don't think I ever knew that until just this moment. Um, the weird things you learn through Pokemon Sleep. Anyway, now that I am, uh, I don't even know what I am. Um, wow. Okay. That one threw me for a loop. Anyway, let's feed this Stuffle. Hopefully we can get at least one big hit or something. That would be nice. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I'm feeding a lot of biscuits lately. Um, come on, buddy. Oh, don't be full. Don't be full. Don't be full. You're not full. Can we get a big hit now? That would be nice. We haven't got a big hit outside of a hungry Pokemon in a long time. Mm. Not helpful. Awful. That's awful. All right, well, mm, 
Yeah, I don't really know that I really want to feed anything else. I mean, we've got three really good Swablus already. I've got two pretty good Blastoise. Um, yeah, I don't really need anything else. We're just going to go ahead and move on. We'll move on. We'll hope that this Chikorita is going to be the one we've been searching for as far as candy. Um, mm, Stuffle candy for sure. Corn is just too helpful for everybody across the board. Stuffle candy makes sense. How much did we get? Still, yeah, only five. That sounds about right. But we got a decent amount of Squirtle candy, so that's pretty good because we are going to need it for our guy. Uh, we also got about 8,400 Dream Shards. Not bad at all. But let's check out this Chikorita, see if uh, this can be the one we're searching for. We found a pretty decent one yesterday, but still looking for a better one. Uh, no berry finding at level 10, but we got Cocoa and Double Honey after that. And then for level 10, we've got energy recovery and research XP bonus. Hmm, not so much, not so much. Inventory up, skill level up. Yeah, this one's not good. This is definitely going to the professor. This is not the one we were looking for. I can tell you that right now, simply because it doesn't have berry finding and helping bonus, which is exactly what we need. The one we got yesterday, 88 PR, 89 PR. I forget exactly which. Yeah, this one. This one ain't it, Chief. This one ain't it. So, um, yeah. Looks like we're uh, going home pretty empty handed today. All right, well, easy decision. Without, without helping bonus and berry finding, it's just not gonna do what we needed to do. So, not really a point to testing or experimenting with that one. Okay. So now for the no new news, even though we should have new news because, you know, they, as somebody in the comments put, had an announcement to announce an announcement. Um, we should have some new news very soon. We only have nine days left before this starts. So surely we have to hear something in the next couple of days. But so far, I don't know. Anyway, no new news, new community reports. We've got about 43 of them. 38. Oh. All right, with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only ten that doubled up. Ooh, that's kind of low. But it is what it is. All right, no level ups today. But that means we can get into the meat and potatoes. Uh, we already know Gardevoir didn't trigger. That is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and collect everything from Gardevoir. Clear out that inventory so we can trigger. Nothing there. Um, nope, nothing there. Skill trigger here. Mm, nope. No skill triggers at all, but that's okay. We're still at a pretty decent amount of energy. I think we might still be either just over 100 or pretty close to 100, so I think we're all right. As far as breakfast, though, I was hoping I had enough. I don't. I was hoping I had enough for... Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, never mind. I'm looking for the wrong thing. Where is it though? I thought there was something here, but I guess I'm just losing it. I was looking for the drought katsu curry at first, and that is definitely not here because this is salads. Anyway, things are not going well on the salad front, um, but with it being Saturday, I don't really know. If I'm going to even bot, woo, 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 chill out. If I'm gonna bother with much of anything else, but I am running out of ingredients. I think. Mm, I think we're gonna do this salad. And I don't know. Let me see how far we need to go to get to uh, eight spawns. But I don't think we've got. Too far, but I don't think it's really possible either. And tomorrow is not going to be fun if we do not have a good amount of ingredients. Uh oh, nope, no, we I take that back. We've got a little bit to go. We need 68.7 million essentially, and this will put us at not very much. That 10,000 is not helping. Basically, <laughs> all right, we need about 60,000 essentially. 
60? No. 80. 80,000. More strength. Um. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. I feel like we could probably get that throughout the day with this team. But we're not gonna have anything for tomorrow. And the question is do we care? Or are we just gonna make some baby meals tomorrow? We. Mm, I don't know, man. I feel like I should, because Master 3 is still something I would like to hit, but I just don't think it's possible. We did make it to Ultra 4 for a small dream cluster, but... Oh, we do need to use some candies, too. I didn't even realize that. Need to use some candies, so we'll do that probably tomorrow. Because I've got a couple of ideas of who I want to use them on, but I'm not going to do it just yet. Um... Yeah, that's an interesting question. Do we... Do we keep this team now, or do we swap into ingredients now? I feel like... I think we keep this team for now. If I can get to 650,000 drowsy power, or strength, um... Yeah, I think that's the plan. That's the plan. We're going to get to 650,000 strength. Then I'm going to swap this team around for uh, some grocery shopping. And then we're going to stock up some ingredients, not only for tomorrow, but hopefully also for next week. And that will give us exactly who we're going to invest in as well for those 262, can 262 candies. You know what? I already know who it's going to be. Let's just do it now. We all know who it's going to be. I don't know why I'm beating around the bush. Of course, it's going to be this guy. If we have enough, we almost have enough. That's not bad. How much more do we need? Uh, 262, we need 59. So that's what, 20 candies? Yeah, we could do that. We can do that easily. 20 candies gives me 60. I used too many. Oh, well, I told you my brain wasn't working right now. <laughs> um, What we want, we actually want a little more. We want more than that. Um, let's see. Something we haven't used in a while, but I do like when we get to use it, is the... Where's it at? XP calculator. Let's check the XP table. Um, it is a normal Pokemon. I... Sure. Let's go ahead and select Stuffle. Where you at, buddy? Uh, currently at level 28 with 23 XP to go, which means to get to level 30, I need 10 handy candies because we have zero stuffle candies. Um, cool. 10 will get us to level 30 and then it only takes 40 to evolve. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy. Let's, um... You know what? Why not? Why not? How much does it take to get to 40 candies with 3 each? 12? 22 candies. Let's get to 30. Level 30, come on. One more, there we go. Ooh, we don't have enough candies. Still need to use two more. That is unfortunate. Oh well. It's gonna be worth it in the long run. Cause it's finally time. All right. Nope. Missed. There we go. Two more candies. Gonna be very much worth it in the long run. By a lot. Having this level of corn production is going to open up so many avenues and it's gonna make the uh, high tier recipes that were requiring a lot of corn, especially the Inferno Kima curry, gonna make that so much easier to make and it's gonna make it easier to stock up corn for the long term like we did with the Entei event go ahead and stock it up uh, I don't remember I don't think it's in what we're gonna make for the Suicune event but in future events it will make it easier to go ahead and stock up on it now and we're gonna use this guy for a long time so that's good I know I haven't changed my team I wasn't trying to was not trying to 
But that does mean that we can collect that mission. Ooh, we got a medal too, it looked like. Another 15 diamonds, probably for getting a certain number of Pokemon to level 30, if I had to guess what that medal's for. Uh, ooh, no. How many candies I've used to level up Pokemon? 15,000. And how many times I've evolved befriended Pokemon? 46 times. Nice. 900 Dream Shards and two small ingredient tickets? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, now with all that out of the way, and with a plan in place to get to 650,000 strength, and then swap out for ingredients, now we have that plan in place. Now, I can get to something that a lot of people have been asking about uh, over these past few months, uh, but came up again a couple of days ago in the Discord. Several folks were asking, what do I have in my Pokemon box? They would like to see it. So, we're gonna go through this together. I'm going to go through both my box in game and my box on the Rainon website and we will uh, go through it together and I will make sure that it's updated while I'm here. Uh, of course, as you know, uh, whenever you rate a Pokemon, you pick a Graveler, put its sub skills in, whatever they are, blah, 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 nature, blah, and then you calculate it, you like it, you hit this button, it asks you what level it is, and then you hit this button here to save it, which puts it in your box. Um, and so that is why I have all of these Pokemon here, because I've done this over uh, the course of playing the game. I've tried to keep up with them every now and then, but sometimes they get away from me because sometimes they just level up a little faster than you expect. But we can go through these pretty quickly. Um, so we've got Venusaur is level 34, uh, Charizard level 32. We've got two Blastoise, one that's shiny at level 47, one that's not at level 35, a uh, shiny Caterpie at level 11, a shiny Butterfree at level 37. I used to use that Butterfree quite a lot back in the early days. Uh, I think I got it like my second or third week playing the game. Let's see. When did I catch you? Um, August 6th. So yeah, that was like my second week playing the game, I think, because I did not start on day one. Um, I think I started about a week late. Um, and you can see 600 hours almost of sleeping time shared with Butterfree. I used it quite a lot back in the day. Uh, it was very good to me for a long time. Uh, let's see, and then I've got a shiny Raticate at level 27, uh, two shiny Ekans, one at 13 and one at 10, and then a regular Ekans at level 9. Then we've got a level 13 shiny Pikachu. Um, uh, the event Pikachus are all the way down at the bottom, but we do have those here. Uh, Halloween Pikachu and Festival Pikachu, level 30, nope, uh, level 12. Each of them are level 12, so that makes sense. Then we've got, let's scroll back up. Raichu is level 39 in the box. He's level 38, so simple. Uh, now that he's level 39, we go ahead and click on him, change the level, and select update. And let's see, we've got a level 15 Vulpix, a level 12 Jigglypuff, a level 30 Wigglytuff. Why do I still have this Jigglypuff? Why do I have you? I have no idea. I think I know why I kept it originally. I think because Pecha Berries were super hard to come by. I mean, we still, they are still hard to come by, but when do we ever use them? Um, yeah, and this one is significantly better than this one by a lot. I'm actually, eh, on a skill trigger rating, yeah, probably 80, but when it comes to uh, just in general, this one is super good. Helping bonus and berry finding, yeah, that's a really good one. And two skill trigger sub skills with ingredient finding down, yeah, that's pretty good way better than this one so uh we're actually gonna go ahead and send this one to the professor we're gonna clear out the box a little bit so whenever you send one to the professor and you want to clear it out of the box you click on it and you just hit this little red send to the professor button right down here in the bottom left of the pop-up and boom it's gone and now our box is a little bit cleaner We've got a Doug Trio at level 30, another at level 22, a Meowth at level 15. I'm not sure why it does this on some of these Pokemon where it doesn't have their name, it just has their Pokedex number. Um, as 
far as I know, I have not changed the name. Still looks like Meowth there. Uh, but sometimes it just shows the number and not the name, and I'm not sure why. We have a level 16 Psyduck. We have a 31 Primeape, a 24 Primeape. Ooh, you leveled up somehow. How did you level up? I didn't think I'd used you on the team. Interesting. Okay. Uh, level 19 Shiny Arcanine, a level 14 Bell Sprout, a level 12 Shiny Bell Sprout, a 39 Victory Bell, uh, 21 Shiny Graveler, a level 25 Golem, which uh, may be very helpful soon with these soybean uh, updates. Not the best sub skills, but pretty solid uh, for when I caught it back in the day. I've had this one a while as well, used it for a little while. So it is useful, may become more useful with soybeans if the uh, dishes are actually buffed to be a lot stronger, but this guy may also come in and just uh, bully him out of the way because one, it's shiny, so you know we want to use it, but also it's got soybeans at level 60 and potatoes at, four, at 30, so uh, might be more helpful, but we'll just have to wait and see how the updates go um, and then check it out next time we go to Tope. All right, uh, then we've got a... Two level 13 slowpokes, one shiny, one not. Uh, this one will be my slow king eventually whenever I get around to doing it. Uh, then we've got a 32 slow bro, which was my tail gatherer for a little while that I caught while I believe I caught while I was on. I think I was on my honeymoon when I caught this one. Yep, yeah, sure was. Um, so caught that one while I was on honeymoon. Um, and then we've got a level 18 Magneton, a level 24 Dodrio, a couple of Ghastly line. Uh, one Ghastly that's actually very good, very good. Uh, and I would argue has one of the better ingredient spreads for a Ghastly in my opinion, but also has helping bonus, berry finding, inventory up L, helping speed and skill trigger. So this makes it a very, very, very good pseudo berry gatherer. Um, Probably not gonna rely on it to get the herbs and mushrooms because Ghastly already has a, well, Gengar, once we evolve it, has a very low ingredient rate, as you can see. Um, so not the best, but it's very, very fast. So it can act as like a pseudo berry specialist. It's not as good as a proper berry specialist, but you can get a lot of strength out of it, especially in the early game. So probably gonna use this for something down the road, but. We also have two 34, level 34 Gengars, uh, Onyx at level 21, uh, two level 30 Marowak, so you actually need to be updated. 46%, uh, why do I still have you? Is it just because... Actually, why do I? Because mm. this one's definitely the stronger of the two. By quite a lot. I'm not sure why I have this second Marowak. Although I'm not sure I want to get rid of it either. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to get rid of it. Something's telling me not to get rid of it, even though it's nowhere near as strong as the other one. And I would definitely use the other one over that one. But for some reason, my brain is telling me don't get rid of it. I don't know probably why I have too many Pokemon in my box. But let's move on. Kangaskhan at level 20, uh, Mr. Mime at level 19, a Pinsir at level 21. I've got two Dittos, one at 27, one at 23, both the exact same PR. Yay. Ditto can be very good in the early game, but uh, even in the early game, I don't think I really used it too much. As you can see, I don't even have them at level 30. Um, both of their sub skills kind of kind of bad so yeah don't know what i'm gonna do with those hopefully catch a better one honestly um then we've got a bunch of eevees uh one of them two of them i think i haven't put in the box yet because i wasn't sure what to do this question mark is the eevee from the other day where i was asking you guys what should we do with it because it has berry finding at level 10. general consensus like i said the other day seems to be Try to hunt a better one, don't worry about evolving it, but I did want to hold on to it just in case, so I do need to add that to the box. Um, but we will do that later, I don't want to keep bouncing back and forth between menus. This Eevee, on the other hand, I don't know what you are. 
Uh, oh yeah, you were the one that was uh, pretty good if it wasn't for the nature. Probably also one I'm gonna hold on to for a little while. Could be potentially very good if it just wasn't for that nature. I need to put this one in the box. I think that's what happened is I saw the nature and I just didn't save it. So that one I need to put in the box as well. Then of course we have our uh, Flareon at level 51. So we need to update that. Getting very close to that level cap, buddy. Good, good. All right. So we've got 13, 11. Um, oh, where's my... Yeah, you're level 11. So skills 88 is level 11. I usually don't rename the Pokemon in the box, but uh, since they are Eevees and it's very hard to differentiate between them, uh, and I expect to probably have a few Eevees at a time, that's why I renamed the Eevees, which very simple, just come in here, type in whatever name you want, and then it'll save it once you hit update, and you can see that. So it does help in a lot of regards. Um, Let's see move on Dratini you I think we're actually uh pretty decent but I don't remember if I was actually gonna save you or not I feel like I was going to because I do like all those sub skills I think I was gonna save you maybe mm, I don't know maybe I just don't want to get rid of a Dratini because they're kind of very good but this one's also not in my box right now so leaving the name blank so that I know which one is not there uh, or leaving the name default uh, we've got a level 13 Dratini which is pretty solid that one right there uh, pretty decent sub skills nature is neutral but overall not too bad uh, we've got another Dratini that's level 12 which is this guy right here probably probably gonna be the one I get rid of from what everybody was saying uh, this one, yeah, helping bonus is nice, but I think we could do better. Uh, but I just haven't decided yet if I want to get rid of it. Uh, 67, also, uh, probably also going to get rid of. Talking so fast, I'm slurring my words together. Level 35 for the Dragonair and level 32 for the other Dragonair with Berry Finding. Uh, so pretty good Dragonair there. All right, let's move on. Generation 2. We've got one Chikorita and a Meganium, and this is the Chikorita that we need to send to the Professor that we caught today, so let's get rid of that. Alright, so we've got a Chikorita at level 14, a Meganium at level 29, a Typhlosion at 32, a Totodile at 15. Still have not caught a good Totodile or a very good Cyndaquil. Just may do with what I had for the Entei event. Hopefully we don't have to do the same for Suicune with a Totodile, but we'll have to see. We're definitely going to have to go back to Cyan Beach and try to find us a Totodile. I have a Cleffa at... Oh, there it is. I skipped right past it. Level 10. I was very confused. <laughs> I have a Shiny Igly buff at level 15, a Togepi at level 8. Uh, this one probably need to get rid of. It's not super fantastic. Uh, it just was one I caught very early on and seemed really good at the time. Uh, yeah, main skill chance down is pretty bad. So this was like a uh, pseudo Pecha Berry specialist, but then come to find out we're not really caring about Pecha Berries, so probably gonna get rid of that at some point. Uh, then we've got the Togetic at level 15. This one is actually pretty good for a skill specialist. Um, not the best, but pretty good. Could be a nice uh, Togekiss down the road if we ever need one. Uh, we've got Ampharos at level 25. We've got Pseudo Wudo at level 14. Uh, our gorgeous Espeon, which uh, is not named correctly, but I'm not super worried about it, at level 29. So that's good. Shiny Wobbuffet at level 14. Uh, the one Heracross I've ever caught that I used a Master Biscuit on, and it uh, was not, 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 not a good, not a good idea. Um, I don't think I've caught a good Pokemon with a Master Biscuit yet. So, we're going like 0 for 4 on the Master Biscuits and good Pokemon right now. Uh, three Delibirds, because I couldn't make up my mind on what I wanted to do. I know the one, the main one I want to use, the level 30. 
So we've got one at 30, one at 24, one at 21. Um, ingredient spreads, none of them are really the most ideal, but they will work for a while. So there's that. Uh, did level up this one guy to level 30 because he has apples and has good sub skills. So it could be a good uh, apple gatherer for me for a little while. We've got a hound hour, which I caught forever ago. Um, very early on, and I don't know if I've ever used him. No, haven't used him, but helping bonus, pretty good. Uh, could be good down the road if we ever need to use him for a dark berries. Uh, if there's a dark rye event or something, that would be really cool. Then we've got, of course, the two legendaries, Raiko and Entei, level 28 and 27, respectively. Um, then I've got a couple of Larvitar line. Got the Larvitar level 13, which is a pretty solid guy. Uh, helping speed, ingredient finder, berry finding, another ingredient finder and dream shard bonus with a brave nature. So not too bad. One of these will be a lar uh, will stay a pupitar and the other will evolve into a tyranitar. I just haven't decided which one would be the best tyranitar candidate yet uh, because um, tyranitar does switch types when you evolve it. It switches from rock to dark type. So. I don't really know which one's gonna be the better one to evolve into the Tyranitar. Probably gonna be the guy with berry finding, to be honest with you, just to double up on the dark berries. Um, but haven't quite decided yet. Figured I'd wait until it, uh, we actually need to worry about it. So um, gonna hold on to those for a while. Then we've got a Curlia, currently the Gallade candidate that I have right now. It's not the best Gallade it could be, but if we ever get to a point where we absolutely have to have a Gallade, I do have one. Actually, I didn't even think to look. Um, yes, it is male. Cool. So we can evolve that one to a Gallade. Uh, and then Gardevoir, of course, been on the team for a couple of weeks now. You guys know Gardevoir very well. Level 30. Oh, currently level 31 now. Let's go ahead and update that. Uh, and then we've got a, where are you at, buddy? A Slack off, which is not, uh, I don't, is it an ingredient specialist? The berry specialist. But it has like, not very good berry specialist stats so that's why i named it ingredient 88 because i calculated this forever ago back in november back before i really uh, had a more firm grasp on the game <laughs> so not great uh we do need a better one so hopefully i'll get a better one eventually and we've got a level 13 gulpin uh two shiny swablu level 13 and 12 and then the good swablus that are uh, 92 and 91 pr respectively uh level 25 and level 11. the level 25 has berry finding at level 10 so that's why it is uh level 25 getting ready to evolve but the other one also berry finding at level 10 with energy recovery bonus so uh yeah could be could be very nice um i think we're pretty well covered for dragon berries if we ever need to worry about them um so not really worried about catching more swablu to be honest with you i did have an altaria but when i went through the box last week i went ahead and got rid of it because it wasn't really a point it was only like 40 or 50 pr and we have two swablus that are way better so that's why this one's level 25 i did level it up last week i believe then we've got a level 14 Shuppet, two Absol at level 24 and 17. Uh, neither of them super fantastic, but holding on to them just because you never know when you're going to need them and be able to use them. And they're such a rare Pokemon to find. I didn't want to just toss them away too easily. Uh, we've got our Wall Rain, of course, which has been on the team all week for the Growth Week bonus. Uh, and the helping bonus, level 36, so let's update that now. And then a level 12 Riolu, not really helpful. A level 33 Shiny Toxicroak, a 29 regular Toxicroak, a oh, level 28 now. A Snover will be an Obama Snow soon. A level 18 Obama Snow that uh, doubled up on tomatoes, so I kept it on the team for that. It might actually be better for tomatoes. I think it is better for tomatoes than my Venusaur, so that's why I still have it, just to throw it on the team whenever I do need those tomatoes. Two Dedenne. Neither of them super great, but I kept them because you can put them both on the team together to try to hopefully stack their main skill triggers. So kept them both for that reason in case I ever want to stack it up for uh, a particular Sunday or something like that. That way I have them when I need them. Uh, actually... 
we do have this no longer stuffle that we need to evolve. So we'll click on it, click on beware, set it to level 30 and say that we have evolved it once. Evolution count one, update, boom. Now we've got two beware, one at level 30, one at level 35. And of course, to cap it all off, we have our beautiful shiny orange bird Cramorant at level 23. So that is uh, that is the contents of my Pokemon box and uh, a little small tutorial on how to uh, just kind of maintain the box and go through every week or two. You don't have to go through every day and update everything. I certainly don't. Sometimes I go several weeks without updating it, uh, but it is helpful when you're going into team analysis or production comparison to make sure that your Pokemon are accurate so that's less things you have to change when you're in those screens. Uh, so going through every now and then just to kind of update it and maintain the box. Very good idea. But that said, that is uh, going to be where we wrap it up today. A little tour. Uh, that tour of the Pokemon box took way longer than I thought. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button if you do enjoy these videos. And make sure while you're down there to go ahead and join us in the Discord. Uh, that link is in the description. We are having a lot of fun over there. Like I said, this was a topic that was brought up in the Discord. Um, so uh, if you want to have, uh, have me go through certain things and show them off, uh, like the Pokemon box today, the Discord is a great place to do that. Go ahead and join us there. Uh, that said, before I run on and rant again, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are trying to get to a thousand, at which point I do have a thousand subscriber special coming out. I'm trying to get there before September because that will be my uh, one year, one year anniversary of uh, Pokemon Sleep. So it'd be nice to get to a thousand before that. So that said, thank you again for watching the video. Y'all have a good night. And until next time, later, dudes.